Hello and welcome back to a dreary day in June where it's 27 degrees and um, well sun is coming soon in the park of Dragon Cove with lots of coasters that seem quite crazy as well in the design but so far up till now we've been doing quite good but we don't know that about our uh, latest creation the yellow coaster that we are looking at right now it is still in testing phase as we can see over here we don't know the ratings yet as we left on a cliffhanger last time but before we're going to check that we need to get uh, you know ourselves to do our uh, daily routines and see that our pick up handy dude has some work cut out for him right there overall though uh despite you know that vomit over there um it does seem that well the guests are completely utterly and truly well behaved disciplined and all you know they are like the perfect role models for guests almost i mean if i could guess like if i could get guests like this in every park i mean I'd, we'd be golden man it would be a blessing, really. Right, I mean, I was checking over... Uh, maybe we should... Yeah, I think that over here, this is kind of overpriced. For the rest, it's no, there's no real point in checking prices, uh, you know, if the prices are right when it's raining, because it gives you such a um, distorted view of what is really popular and what not. Nah, there's no point. Now... Having done our daily uh, check on vandalism and whatnot, let us see how this coaster is doing, shall we? Roller coaster too. Oh, ta -da! Oh! <laughs> we did freaking amazing with it. It is grand. It is not just grand. It is grand, grand. And I do believe it is actually the coaster that I feared that it was. Uh, the one that is like the hanging version of the stand-up steel coaster. Because even with, and you know, for, in, in well, you know, damage, uh, <laughs> tycooning build scheme type things. I mean, this is a really mellow coaster. Even though the positive vertical Gs might suggest otherwise... Oh, they definitely do suggest otherwise. Even though those suggest otherwise, you know, I'll finish my sentence here. <laughs> uh, the, the ratings are just, yeah. That's what the ratings are, they are, yeah. It is good, we have 12 drops. We, I think also that the boundary over here is that you don't want more uh, vertical Gs than 4G. And we are just staying just below that. We just stay below the 10 in the intensity rating. We have struck gold. Absolutely. Wow. Nice. We have... Oh, man. This is hands down, you know. This is it. Our coaster. Yeah. Open. For the masses. Now, uh, another cool thing is that this coaster is really good. But, um... See... We don't really need this to be that good, to be honest, if we're all only in it for the money, so... Anyway, let us give this a name. Uh, how about... Oh, and... <laughs> German, yeah, uh, how about that? Uh, well, we have struck gold with this one, right? It is the first of the Grand Coasters. Oh man, I'm gonna make a really wrong reference here, but this is going to be the Uber coaster. No, 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 coaster. What is co Ooh, the park with the best food in the country. Did we just place down some new shops and stalls? But perhaps my dad, you know. And that's a reward, and rewards do lure in more people. They don't come here for the awesome coasters, they come for the food. I see that. They are all gluttonies, they are gluttons that are coming in. <laughs> anyway, um, coaster is something else in German, I am sure of it. Uh, is it neat? Um, uh, 
how is it even... I don't even know... Uh, what the numbers are all in German. I know like ein and zwei. But I don't know what eight is. I'm going uh, I'm gonna go with the assumption that it's... Um, oit. Oit. And then big. Uh, that's... <laughs> Uber Oitwig. No way. <laughs> no, no, no. That can't be right. It should be Oichtwig. Uber Oichtwig. Something like that. <laughs> or, or is it Achtwig? I don't know, man. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll probably you know, get some real Germans telling me that this is not it. <laughs> I'll, I'll separate it, you know, uh, the Uber Oichtweg. Oichtweg. For whatever it may be. Um, I'll actually go and translate this, you know, see what it really was. <laughs> it's probably going to be a facepalm moment to see that it was totally not what I thought it should be. Right, now, as for coloring, huh? this is a grand coaster. I don't care about the theme that we had for the rest. I want a freaking cool color combination. Does this match cool in my book? Well, if we're talking about temperature, then it definitely it has the colors for it. That being said, I don't mind if it's, if it's looking cool. In terms of like color, you know, I don't mind that. It's not a bad thing. If we can then get a really good contrast on these. So, oh wait, 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 wait! I was only looking at our own track. I now see the other coaster. Let us inverse these colors then. So we'll go with a red, with a yellow track. And then these supports don't really go that bad, admittedly. These look a lot better there. These need to be uh, significantly cooled there. I mean, that works. What if we reverse this? Does that look any better? No, no, no. I like the looks of that more. Yeah, we'll definitely go with this. The Uber Oichtweg. That is a thing, man. That is a thing. Wow, it's grand. And not just grand, it is grand. Absolutely. Right, well, we did very well uh, with that. But there is an issue with the fact that we now have a big section of the park open. Actually, everything is open, yet, well, you know what we also actually need? I just realized that right now. We want this, and we want it right over here. Most definitely. We'll give them white umbrellas. It's only for the park map that they need it, but they need it. Definitely... Oh man, yeah, so, alright, we have this new section, we have like, uh, one gentle ride, one thrill ride over here, that's about it, how about we take a look at what else we can get in here, I mean, do we have a Garvitron anywhere, I don't believe we have a Garvitron anywhere, we have a ship there, we don't have a Garvitron, why don't we put a Garvitron right on the beach here, I think that's pretty solid actually, it's also the last of the slam down throw rides. I don't mind that so much. We'll place the Garvitron like right over here. With the uh, exit really close to the... Uh, to the path there. Also, we are going to change the lock style thingy thingy. It's gonna be wood. That looks much more beach like if you ask me. Definitely. That's, that's good. I approve. Then, we shall... Uh, go all the way around. Give us a pretty solid long queue. Good for the repeat guys too. So I approve even more of that, of course. 
Now, with so many intense vomit makers close by, we do want to up the amount of benches in the vicinity a little bit. I mean, there's coasters, there's shops, there's stalls. <laughs> we definitely want some, uh, some benches, yeah. They're gonna be heavily used, always, continuously. Right, so the Garvatron is here. How about we set this to berserk mode? I mean, uh, this is this is not a, a you know a small thing. This this is a beast. This is not for the faint-hearted and the weak. This is a bestia of a coaster, as they would say in Italy. Definitely, this is gonna wreck stomach. You know. <laughs> also, the drops in it are just insane. Yeah, it's definitely, we, I am really proud that we got that coaster the way that it is, you know. That it, in my book, it really is the difficult one to work with, you know, that always goes up to, uh, to insane. Yet we managed. I am really proud of that. Also, now that you have a slam down ride over here, we're gonna stop your music. And we're gonna play that actually on the Garvatron. Not the same music though, I want something else. Dodgeons. Is that really fitting? <laughs> on the beach, I guess, we could go with this. How? What is water style? I guess, yeah, why not? What, what else do we have? No, <laughs> we have that. Yes, this is the one. I like this. All right. The name then. We. I mean, we've sorted the music, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, there's still a name left to do in freaking German, and um, yeah, I haven't looked up the uh, Uber Oichtweg, so you know, so far um, we're still <laughs> well. This is still uh, correct uh, by my <laughs> standings, though it probably isn't, you know, for real life. But ah oh, well, the Garvitron, though, we're going to try and make a little bit uh, more. Uh, well, a real Deutsch. So how about... I mean, this is a stomach wrecker. So how about we call this... Um, how about we call this... Uh, I don't even know what stomach is in German. Uh, <laughs> That's a good one, actually. All right, all right. <laughs> How about the, cause I mean, you know, stomach, I assume it will be the same as belly, you know, in, in uh, the word will be the same. So, uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm thinking it's Bauch. <laughs> I don't know if that's even remotely close. <laughs> you know, it's kind of translated from Dutch to German. <laughs> it's a Germanified Dutch, this is. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna call this Bauchgeschäftung. There. Or oh, is it Geschäftung with an umlaut? Look, see, I did enable these settings, though. Like I said, I would a few videos ago. I think it's Geschäftung, though. There, Bauchgeschäftung. Uh, I might be a little bit far-fetched though, and I might have to come back to correct a few minor language errors that I might have made on the way. But uh, it's definitely a thing, the Bauchgeschäftung. Uh, also, we do need to uh, give these some appropriate colors, I'd say. So these are... Mm, yeah, those are the pieces, and... Um, We'll have some more goo, <laughs> and then a little bit of uh, bilic yellow, <laughs> and then some more gooish green. Now I think that goes sums it up pretty well. You know, it could have all of these colors. Well, unless you've drunk wine, <laughs> or you drank wine, I should say. Then it should have a little bit of another color, but uh, any other food should more or less look like this, <laughs> I guess. I can't really say that. 
you can't really see how your vomit looks, uh, you know, just or uh, have, and have it like be generic vomit colors. I mean, of course, it's like green and yellow, but it all depends on what you eat. Anyway, what we have here is 17 thousand uh, park bucks or tycoon bucks or whatever we have two more coasters to deal with why don't we get a, ha a move on with that though on the other hand we have a thrill and a gentle right there i kind of also want that over here and i think that the bumper cars are actually the ride perfectly suited for uh, excuse me perfectly suited for it so what we'll have is we will have this with oh i'm actually i don't know fine if i'm not allowed but we're gonna have this over here with a reasonably longish queue i actually should not really want to have a long queue because of how we're gonna tune this right and how we're going to tune is <laughs> that uh, it's going to be a really long session, which everybody likes, of course. But all right, so uh, how? Yeah, all right. So that's open. Now we are going to turn off the music because I mean that's just bleeding in my ears, you know. <laughs> Uh, but what we do need is yet another name. However, I do have. Uh, the perfect name for this now um i think that uh how about yeah 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 file uh fahrer fehler no 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 i think it's fuhrer fehler fehler or was it fehler fehler i don't know really I think it was this, you know. <laughs> but basically, what it means is a lot of driving errors, <laughs> which is what you only do over here in this ride. <laughs> so it's a very fitting name, right? Uh, probably some typos in there, but you know, those were unintentional. Of course, I know all the correct German uh, writings of everything, <laughs> everywhere, <at> anytime. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! They have just invented uh, the well. Ingredient X for a successful park, basically. I don't want that. I need that to be white. I also don't like the orange that we have on the roof. I'll have that be like that. Thank you. I don't know, really. I also don't like that. Maybe... No, 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 no. These need to be white. We, we want white fences. I guess it doesn't look so shabby. It looks kind of cool. It has some kind of effect on it. So I like it. We'll go with uh, yellow and black. There. Right, okay, looking good, looking good. Guess we'll certainly, most certainly love this. Also, uh, it's actually remarkably clean. I thought we would see more vomit over here. But what we are going to do is we are going to hire an extra handy dude who is going to help out with this new section. No, no new section of uh, path there. Right. You'll keep that clean. Yeah, perfect. Right, okay. So now that we have 19,000 game euro bucks... What are we going to do? Are we going to do the steel coaster or are we going to do the the red one? If we go with the red one, I don't know really if we should go with the red one. To be honest, I feel like we should go with the steel coaster. But at the same time... Now that we do have so much money, before we blow it all on meaningless stuff, we could also uh, go and uh, work on the bobsled coaster. By the way, where on the freaking F are the, is the start? Is this like, is this over here the start of this coaster? It must be, this must be where it returns. 
Wait, hold on a second. So, this is bad. See, you know, you wanna know why this is bad? I know why this is bad. Probably those who have played the, this, uh, well, this scenario will most likely also know it, but those who understand the game also will also know why this is bad. Uh, no, I'm not talking about the format, by the way, but I just want it sorted. How do we actually have a handy dude who deals with the vomit over there? Alright, that explains a thing or two. You will now clean this up. Uh, you will not mow the grass. There. Right, okay, back to staring at the bobsled coaster. You wanna know why this is bad? It is bad because there is a big drop afterwards and there's actually like a small drop over here. So what's going to happen if we have a station brake failure is that unless we snail into the station at like, I don't know, 10 kilometers an hour. Unless we, if we do not have that, what's going to happen at the station brake failure is that you know, a train comes in high speed moves along the station as if it were straight track and gone with the wind <laughs> like a bird <laughs> in the air and exploding like a cluster bomb that is gonna happen and oh and by the way <laughs> you know what happens to pixel gas <laughs> if they're on the train <laughs> yeah they dead man <laughs> they dead <laughs> so um that's not good you know so we need to uh, all right, let me take a look at what we have available here for track pieces. There are no brakes. Ha! Huh. Ouch, this is rough. Right, so there are no brakes, huh? Basically, how we should do this is... Oh man, this is really rough. Basically, we need to test this in phases. The only correct way I see for this, to make it crash proof, and I do want that, you know, I do want this to be hufter proof. I am already not happy with the Schreckler Zug, uh, because it, I just cannot prevent station brake failures uh, the way I like to, and as a result, it's lethal. But if we can prevent it, we're going to try to, whilst at the same time building a great coaster. So what I'm thinking of doing is doing it staged. We will build the design that we were uh, going to build, then we will hook it up and we will see at what speed we get. Basically, my plan is to uh, lift this up to some place. Now, currently we're at speed, so I might want to... Cause Ah, oh, balls, what, why is it, you know what's really bad about this, what it's doing over here, it's actually going up. So that means that I need to be at least at like height 12, oh, that's, it's actually not bad, I don't think we'll get launched uh, straight away. In any case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reroute the lift, we're gonna lift it up really high, because we do need speed, we need this to be long and windy, you know, with, uh, actually, we do want a drop in it as well. We have one, but we want another one. Uh, and then we're just going to have, you know, curl around, do things like we usually do. Because <laughs> I can only build this one way. And that's the way I know that it at least somewhat works. Uh, but then at some point, we're going to need to hook it up over here. And then we're going to see what the speed is. And if it's not good enough, we'll, uh, we'll, well, we'll remove the hooking up piece. We will then curve it a, f a, a few bits more. And then who could back up again? Probably by having to go up, because it has lowered speed. And it has more length, so more time to lose speed. And it has been lowered even further, so it needs to go up. So we will probably be here, and, that, and that's the way we're, how we're going to have to tweak it. This ain't going to be an easy build. I'm well aware of it. It's going to be long, very long. So long, in fact... I don't know if we should commence with it right now. Maybe we should do the steel one earlier. Or before, I should say. I don't know if that's even a good idea either. Hmm, this is a tough one. I mean, 
let us take a look at a few other things. Like, what are we missing when it comes to rides, for example? We don't have this. We could build this. We could extend our park, you know, uh, to uh, uh, open up, like, from here to here. And then build, like, this water or this river right over here. I don't see why we should do that. I think we should go with the coaster. In terms of gentle rides, I don't think there's much for us to gain either. We have the ghost ride. We don't have a car ride or any of these... Um, any of these uh, mono uh, real things, but I think for the most we have it all. Well, that's miniature golf, I guess. It's not really all that interesting. Ah, and we missed the UFO saucer thing. Other than that, though, we have the majority. So there's not much more in there. Yeah. I don't think really that there's any point in me building anything else. I guess what we could do, seeing how it's so thin stretched over here, is build a car ride or a ghost train. But I kind of want this area for a steel coaster, so I don't really want to build too much over here. Man, I now totally understand why people in the comments were warning me about this bobsled and it being an absolute nuisance. Folks, I now know why I did not look at it uh, before, but I now know why it's such an annoying thing. But luckily though, I am well aware of the risks. In fact, you know the thing is that because it drops down here by one, you actually need to get up here quite slow. So... Yeah, it actually forces you to do that already. So in a way, you know, there's one little uh, dent over there in the track. It's actually forcing you to make it uh, crash-proof, more or less. <laughs> With the emphasis on less rather than more. Anyway, I think what we should, what we should do is build this uh, next time when we're going to play. So instead, because this will be a rather short video, but I foresee this being a very long build, we're going to do our um, vandalism check once again <laughs> in the dreary rain and thunder. We're going to do our vandalism check. And um, we will be doing the uh, the bobsled coaster next. Now, as far as vandalism, not much time has passed. Uh, <laughs> and uh, with that, also not much vandalism has happened. Again, because it's raining, we cannot do our uh, pricing check. Well, that's all right. Now, um, I guess, uh, well, you know, we'll leave this a short video. Uh, and um, next time, we will be uh, building the uh, the bobsled coaster. To great success, I might hope. So, uh, yeah, see you then.